Ula neba ye, ula neba ye we ti nga de ye na na true say they don't release a mo e ba, na truth. Make una call listen to this Dara video you gonna see on this background. Area, just send me this video some few minutes ago. Say make I call ye we ti, then you talk for inside this video. Finally, <laughs> this Nigeria man you gonna see in this video. Don't finally react to this trending update now about Samo Ekpa, but it got a particular thing like say, this man thinks I'm more Ekpa for inside this video, I beg, if you come across this video, I beg, help me to spread this video, help me to share this video, make other Nigerians still here waiting at the end for inside this video, and all right. To write what has been made wrong. Uh, it is trending that someone has been released. I'm asking, has it really been released? Please, if you are privileged to the information, Drop it on the comment section. Um, if you are privileged to the information about his release, I want to know if possible you drop a link because the speculation is too much. Some also said that the um, Finland government will be seen Nigeria for accusing their citizen. Uh, for me, I doubt that news. They can disagree with Nigeria that it's not, but that they will see Nigeria for indicting their citizens that that particular right up is coming from the pro simon's uh gang gang then i also had a news that um he's been discharged and acquitted and told not to talk, go to social media again stories are too many so i want to hear from you uh do you think uh those two stories are true did nigeria do you feel like this uh, prescribe uh, uh, sue Nigeria. Did um, that, that's the, that one is a fake, so it's a very complete fake. How can an individual is it today that the individual have been accused? What makes someone so special to use as a case study to sue Nigeria? Rubbish. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. Then about his release, I'm not sure. I want to know those who can help me. Then there are a few on YouTube that will see a picture I added about this, our brother. Uh, Ikenga Uruago. Ikenga Rong is one of my friends and uh, I like what he's doing. Some of you may not like him, but he's doing a very good job. He said that he must make sure that uh, Simon goes to jail. And his reason is that um, he came to their community, he came to their town and by his own brothers and sisters, that he knows he will not go scot-free. Even if they release him now, he will still keep fighting and exposing him to the point he will have to go to jail. How can we put to rest of whosoever you think that is responsible for the unrest in Ali Ibo? That is the major thing I want us to consider. So let's look for solution this time around. Because what is the way forward? Even if he comes out, what is the way forward? Even if he's still under detention, what is the way forward? Because Ali Ibo is still there. Ali Ibo needs to go on. So we can't because of one person and Ali, the other, the other person will come and buy, lose their life because of one person or two persons. That is what I've been clamoring for. You won't say because of, uh, they're holding our brother or our brats and you want to start buying your brother. That is stupidity in the highest order. So I don't subscribe to that. So I don't know if anybody has a privileged information well, if he has been released, you have all the time to come uh, to tap, tap it on the comment section. Yeah, Sigima. Johnny Sigima, welcome from Brazil, from Mexico, Mexico. Uh, wherever you are chatting from, Sigima, tell me. So if you are joining me, let's discuss. What is the way forward? He has been arrested. Yes. Has he been released? I don't know. They say that Skinland government said they will sue Nigeria. Lies upon lies. They say that the uh, uh, say it's not like their son uh, for Nigeria to sue their son to accuse their son for uh, just uh, accusation, which they discover is fair. According to them, they will sue Nigeria. That story is live from the pit of hell. But you know, who is someone that fomented that story? May God judge you as according to what you are doing. You are a liar. But that they, they have been released, I'm not too sure. It's probably he might be released and asked to go home and rest. Then, my end point, the end of this topic, if he has been released, what is the way forward? If he has never been released, what is the way forward? We are still here within the time frame that he will never be extradited to Nigeria. 
to face any criminal law. Wonderful people. I personally support that. God is in heaven is my witness. Let it not come to Nigeria. Nigeria is, can never be trusted. Nigeria knows to violate the rule of law. Nigeria does not obey court. Nigeria, how can somebody be bring, brought somebody to Nigeria? So, if you, I may disappoint you, those of you who are supporting me, that may be thinking that I'm against Simon, this one, I disagree. Let him not come back. Because, Mazin and the Kanakas, how did they handle it? Just because it's an evil man. Whenever case hand, enter an evil man area, that's when they will to, remember they have all they take to fight, to ta tackle people. When this woman made, they said, call it a hate speech, the woman in Canada, he didn't take them under 12 hours. They have already sent a message to Canada to repatriate her. If not, the woman knows her right. She has her evidence of where so many Bini people, Yoruba people have been talking about how they will buy and, and, and annihilate all Igbos. If not for those evidences, that woman would have been forced to come home. Why were they, why were they so fast to act? Because it's an Igbo woman. But when Tiribu was called them, called Nibu name, nobody arrested or complained about it. When the upper of Lagos said they would throw all of us in the lagoon, nobody complained or talked about it. So many hate speeches that have been made against the Igbos, nobody. So the way they hate us, I won't want uh, my own brother, no matter whatever he think he's doing wrong, he's still my brother. I wouldn't support him to go out to your hand. But I, if you talk about him, Staying in custody or in Finland, supported me. I support that one. Take me to anywhere, I support it. Or if they're going to release him, let them release him. But the issue, the way he's going about the freedom, let him redress his step and do it in the proper way. Some of you know the steps. I'm not here to mention them. If you call me privately, I tell you the way, one of them is that taking responsibilities of certain things that happens in the East. It's not done. You are exposing the East to a vulnerable and volatile area. You are exposing them to danger. Not when anything happens, you claim responsibility. Call him the group name. Some of them, it's not you. Some of them, you, but you have already claimed responsibility. By so doing, exposing a label to danger. So, if you talk about him coming to Nigeria for a strategy, um, no, I don't support that. I pray it doesn't happen. If you talk about um, uh, uh, releasing him, I don't have that control over that. Whether he release or not release, but all my so whatever you he's gonna do, let us not continue to lose life in a label. So if you want to join me, I want to hear from you. I will never support him. Look at the way they handled. In, in case of look at case of Iboho, look at case of Samboko Haram, they will release them and tell you they escape by wound, wound by weapon. Tell you one story or the other. But can um, a, 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 an Igbo man escape like that? Have you ever seen an Igbo man escape from prison like that? Even if he escapes, they will still bring him. I mean, high-profile individual from, from the East escape from Nigeria prison, it can never happen. But it can happen to other other tribe. Because so, you want to still bring him under the wickedness and hatred they have for Igbos. In as much as I blame him for bringing himself to the kind of way he's going about the, his so-called freedom. So, if you think he needs to be repatriated or he has been released, sorry, I want to hear from you guys. This is the message I have for them. The question remains, what is the way forward for Ali Ibo? Let's have a dialogue. If you think you can come in, come into the pl platform, let's talk. What is uh, the way forward for Ali Ibo? What can we do for Ali Ibo to move on? I keep talking Ali Ibo. I don't talk about Biafra because... If I mention Biafra, I'm also talking about River State, Cross River State, Niger State, Delta State, Edo State. But those people are not willing to work with us. They are not going through what we are going through. So for now, let them stay. We are, let's talk about the, south, the Southeast, the Igbo nations, the Igbo people. It's enough of this. We can't be losing our life for the sake of Biafra that every uh, five other states also join us. But they are not joining in the battle. They are keeping quiet. They are buying and living a life. It's only on the Igbo extraction. Right? That started from 1965. This Biafra has caused so many trouble to, for us. Because after 1965, after the war, it was only the Igbos they gave to the pass. They didn't give it the people of other Niger that are part of the Biafra. Why were they only secluding the Igbos to attack and deal with? 
Where were they uh, securing the Igbo to even buy them, to annihilate them, to commit genocide against them? Only Igbos. They forget about the native that area. They didn't go for them. Now we are talking about sit at home. Who are the people losing life in the name of sit at home? The Igbos. Who are the people experiencing the so called pillar attack? The Igbos. Who are the people experiencing bad governance in the highest order? In the hand of our governor, bringing a bubago them to buy us, according to what you hear, bringing uh, the, our leaders, bringing a bubago, bringing a uh, Nigerian militia group to come and buy our people. Who are the people suffering on this thing? The Igbos. Rolling way. For how long shall we remain to be suffering this way? So I'm see if we control this way, we will lose all our lives. Let us fight for Igbo nation or the state of the East. That is me. If you ask me, the people of the East state, the state of the East. So, if you think you have any suggestion of the way forward for the liberation of Igbo man, I need it on the comment section. Thank you for watching that video. So guys, before you leave, look at the top here. Do way to subscribe and also put on the so that whenever we upload any video in this great platform, you will be the first to see it. And please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and also spread this video and also share the video so that other people will still come across this particular video. See guys, I will see you guys some other time.